Hi, it's nice share. Some of you guys know me as Shubham. Spurs to go podcast. Some of you guys have bought YouTubes. Um, just finished a session at Body Works. And that was our know, first session this week. So that was, that was fun. Just leaving now. It's just, just on Broad Lane. And for the uh, quick YouTubes. Um, first of all, we're going to shout out to Ellie. I was actually thinking what you said. Ellie said, Ellie said that people are so rude, they check their mobiles on their own dates. I didn't check my mobile on date, but I did use the Wi Fi to download something on iPlayer. So, I don't know. So, we should, should, you know, hashtag is that rude? That, that, that trend. Um, and I was just listening to the Tottenham podcast, uh, just talking about North Carolina Spurs, and they're getting a lot of shit about our oh, Levy's, you know, a bit of their first squad Levy. Here's my view of this. All businesses must be self-sustaining. Whatever cash flow you generate must go to investment to the club. So yes, we may be the champions of net spend, but that no business doesn't run that way. You know, at the end of the day, why is, why is uh, Apple so profitable? Because it generates more money than it, than it spends. You know, Apple, Microsoft, GE, BP, you know, IBM. These are big companies because, and they're successful companies, they're profitable because, you know what? There's how much money they spend, there's how much money they invest. There are two ways of actually doing money. You can either spend the money, or you can, um, you know, you can actually borrow the money, or you can put the money yourself. Now, as part of the a company, we generally tend to borrow money. That makes sense. You borrow against the company. There's nothing wrong with that. A very big company, you know, the Mars company is actually a private limited company. It's owned by its family members. So that's my thing on the matter. And so, yeah, it's hard because we see clubs like Chelsea, we see clubs like PSG, Man City is a very big example, you know, spending money like no one's business. And then the FFP rules, they're here, they're not here, what happens? It's not fair, it's not right. And you know, it does antagonize fans. Here's my feeling on the matter for Spurs. Yes, it would be nice to get a striker in, but I'd rather not spend the money and make do than waste the money and then work out how to get rid of this player. You know, they've got to waste on wages. Because he'll come to Spurs, chances are, let's say Charlie Austin's in, say, 40,000 a week. He comes to us, he'll be on 60,000 a week. I'm just spitballing numbers here. So now, to get rid of him, we're going to have to find someone on the team willing to pay him 70,000 a week if things don't work out. And <coughs> as you can tell, <coughs> when you play players a lot of money, they don't want to leave, either by your. I mean, this is apparently you want his contract ripped up and pay him off, and then he has a lot of money. So basically, he'd be earning nine, oh, I don't know, seven and a half million or something. Which I think, for us to pay, what, two thirds of that is an absolute joke. I that for me. So I'm not sure how happy we are trying to win this season. So let's move on to Sunderland. First of all, congratulations to Wayne Rooney, 50 goals. It is incredible. So he's nothing around. There's his place in Canada, like San Marino, local friendlies. And he will never hold a can to England's greatest ever goal scorer, Jimmy Greaves. Boy, what could turn Suck it. But, um, no, congratulations to Herman Harry. I mean, yeah, some really good play by him. Grand positions and the goals he scored, yeah, San Marino and Switzerland aren't exactly world beaters, but they were good goals. So hopefully, we can get up on Martin Murray against Sunderland. Oh, so if you don't know, this is a side of Tottenham, but you guys will never see. This is West Green Road. I actually grew up around here, uh, just down near Seven Sisters. And the seven trees we see on the old Spurs badges represent seven, you know, seven trees, seven sisters. This is where we're at. Anyway, I uh, thought I'd show you a bit of the Tottenham that, you know, that most of you guys know will never see, especially if you live abroad. So yeah, to the Tottenham, yeah, a lot of us say, oh, you're not a Spurs fan, you live in America. There's a whole bunch of shit from that. Personally, you're passionate, and if you're passionate, you do a podcast about a club which you have no geographical tie to. I mean, I'm, I'm from around there, so I support Spurs. For you to do a pod about a club, and you know, to do it weekly, and to do it, well, with a certain quality, yeah, Buckinghamshire, um, it's something that I'm very, very, you know, I commend you for. So hopefully tomorrow, it's been floating, I've got the Europa League, I'll, like you, I want to see a complete change in the um, teams. I did actually want Dyer to play twice a week. The reason I say this, I think Dyer is playing as a defensive midfielder. Let him learn, keep learning the position as a defensive midfielder. Some of the top players will play 
at least twice a week anyway. If you're, if you're a Champions League player, you're playing twice a week. I'll say just, just for this, you know, up until great. January. And then January, do you know what, let's play week in, week out. You know, you've got to rotate, but just for the group games. So, not that I'm saying you forget to play centre half. I'm sure if, say, Toby gets injured, you know, Dyer will be the first first, you know, first one to be centre half. Hoping, anyway. Not Fazio, please, not Fazio. But at least he remembers how to play as a centre half. And I think, you know, I'm not no against the future of Jake Yelka. Shout out to Paul Lee, uh, the, the Ian Duncan Smiths, and um, Anderson know. But I'll be honest. Jack Elk is a good player, but realistically, 41. he's not like Michael Dawson. He wanted to play oh, for straight. England because it's a great compliment to you and to your club. But really, is he all that good really for England? I mean, is he the best of the best that England have? Not really. And I wouldn't mind seeing someone like Dyer in there. I mean, Small has done, you know, seems to have came the mental back in his career. I would like to see Dyer in there. I don't want to see him losing that chance of year 16 just because we've been playing out of our position. That's just from my perspective on, on you know things, um, but no. Hopefully, like I said, we'll be um, you know doing something pretty sweet. Hopefully, you know. And tomorrow, I'm gonna go for two one to us. There's no Ericsson. I'm gonna sure go against the people. I'm sure I'm gonna go. So I think Lamella should be in there. Have a floating. You know, he has got quality, and I don't. But we roll players out after what two years. I mean, he had two seasons. Yeah, but people say he came from 13, he was injured most of that. And he wasn't a player because yeah, he lost a bit of pace. Players he was playing against, you know, he lost that speed advantage. Very much like Fazio. Fazio was probably one of the strongest defenders in Spain in La Liga. And then as soon as he plays all the you know, comes to this country, guess what? They're just as strong as he is, if not stronger. And they've got a significant speed and agility advantage. They may not be as technical, but they're able to get uh, game to where they want it to be they're able to get you know you know force the fight to where, where they're strongest so that's that's my feeling on the matter for this so i think the matter i definitely give him up, up until december you know we haven't got you know I mean, it's either him or andros i'd, I'd rather have say the matter in there at least he can play inside cut inside and you know give it in to someone like say a trip here or I mean, i've obviously trip here there but i think we walk we give him a nod see how it goes anyway um Yep, yeah, so yeah, so two things really. I don't want to see all the DVDs. Yeah, we are chances to spend, but you know what? All businesses, two. football is a business, oh, a multi million pound, even billion pound business. So, yeah, the old idea of get, get your chairman out, people like Jack Walker, which a lot of people do remember. I mean, Jack Walker spent like crazy, we're a Blackburn now. The Monaco chairman spent like crazy, but in the Europa League with us. You know, go, you know, you have to be self sustaining, you have to have some kind of business model. That doesn't require a private fortune or the fortune of a nation. So anyway, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, YouTube podcast. Uh, check out uh, Tottenham, uh, uh, By the Minute Spurs, and Hospital America. Big shout out to Sam Z and Sam. I'd love to hear your views. Self-sustaining. I know you saw the financials, and they are very good. But a healthy balance sheet is no bad thing, you know. Look at, say, Arsenal. They couldn't afford to play their players for a little bit. That's why you put money in the bank, for, you know, for, the, for that rainy day. And somehow, although it's cost £350 million bridging loan, you want a combination of equity, of cash, and loans. Cash and debt. But anyway, I'd love to hear what you've got to say. And, yeah, definitely, if you can check out Hospital America, they have Lyle Thomas on it. It's a fantastic pod. Probably one of the best pods I've ever heard. So, yeah, definitely check it out. And, um, yeah, as always, come on your spurs.